All right, everybody, today we're going to go over 2.02 .02 and the linear functions fit to data assignment. Before we do that, make sure you've got some great notes from this lesson, uh, specifically the slope intercept form and how to find it and the point slope form and how to find it. This is in your lesson, but these are important so that you can solve the problems. So a student believes that there's a correlation between the number of texts sent during class and GPA. The student collected data and found that the line of fit can be modeled by the equation y equals 6.1 minus 0.24x. Identify and interpret the slope in this scenario. So this is a little tricky because they flip-flopped our equation. y equals mx plus b is the slope-intercept form, but they've put the slope second, okay? But that's okay. We know that the coefficient, the number in front of the x, is our slope. So we can say that for every text sent in class, the GPA goes down 0.24 points. So 24 hundredths of a point goes down. It's decreasing the GPA by 0.24 points for each text sent in class. All right, now it's telling us that we have these ta this table to compare the daily temperature and the ice cream sales. And it wants us to use technology to determine the line of fit, okay? Where X represents the daily uh, temperature and Y represents the total ice cream sales. So if we go to desmos.com, we can click on the plus sign and click on table. This will give us a, a blank table that we can then go back and forth from the question to the Desmos and put in the information. Then we can type in Y1 is approximately, so I'm not using the equal sign, I'm using that little squiggly sign by the number one, MX1 plus B. When we do that, it gives us a line of fit. It just did all the hard work for us. We had to do the, the time consuming work of putting in all the numbers, but then the calculator did it for us. It's telling us the slope is 6.64185. We could round that to 6.64. And it's telling us that the y-intercept is negative 306.222. We could round that to 306. So when we go back to the question, it just wants us to determine the line of fit. So we would look at our A, B, C, D, we would look at our line of fit here and just make sure that we have a similar slope and a similar y-intercept when picking our answer. All right, the depth at which a certain mammal dives, y, in feet, as related to the duration of the dive, t, in seconds, is represented by the linear model, y equals 0 0.87 plus 8.79 t. If the dive duration is four seconds, what is the predicted depth of the dive? Okay, so we can take this equation. Whoops. We can take the equation they gave us and we can just replace T with four seconds. Okay, because t was already in seconds. We don't have to convert minutes or seconds or anything like that. And we're looking for y in feet. So if we take out our calculators, we can do 8.79 times 4. That gives us 35.16. Then when we add the 0.87, we get a depth of 36 and 300 Okay, so make sure you double check that we're doing the same time, the same measurements, second seconds, feet, feet, double check all that stuff, and then just plug in the answers, the numbers to find your answer. All right, now we have a scatter plot showing prize money in thousands of dollars for contest contest over eight consecutive years. Predict the amount of prize money in year three of the contest. So this I thought was a little tricky. But when you look at your answer choices, there was really only one possible choice. So a line of fit should kind of go between all the numbers. This isn't even the best line of fit, but 
we could, you could maybe do a line of fit here. Or somewhere between the red and the blue line is probably our line of fit. This dot down here is kind of out of place and we're not gonna spend too much time worrying about that dot. We're just gonna leave it alone and try to draw a line that goes through most of the points. So for the most part, somewhere around the red line is probably what we would do. Now, when I look at year three, yep, when I look at year three and I go up, my predicted prize money for year three should be somewhere in this range, somewhere on this line in this range. So for me, the answer choice that is correct was a little bit more than what I see here. But when you look at all the other choices, the other three choices, it was way bigger, like way, 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 way bigger. So for this, there was only one possible choice from what I could see, and it was close to here. I just felt like it was a little higher than the line, but not as high as all the other ones. So just try to eyeball that line of fit somewhere here. And then you look at three and go up and see where would that be on the line. All right, the graph shows a scatter plot for a set of data. Which of the following equations is the best model for a line of fit of this data? So again, we're gonna kind of try to draw a line that's going through all the numbers. Not through, through all the numbers, but we got some dots on the top and some dots under the line. So you can kind of see a little bit here that I drew a line, it's not perfect, but I kind of drew a line that's got some below it and some above it, okay? And actually there's no dots on the line that I drew, but there are some above it and some below it. So now when we're doing our equation, I'm gonna do slope intercept form. Okay, so we've got y equals mx plus b, I don't know the slope right off the top of my head, but let's look at the y-intercept. That one's a little bit easier. B should be somewhere around 20, like maybe 20 and a half, because it's not all the way up to 21, but it's not as low as 20. So it's somewhere in that 20 and a half range. And the slope, we could calculate the slope by, well, we could just look on the line. And I've got a point pretty much right here. And let's see where our next point is. This is kind of close. Okay, so we could do rise over run, right? We could go down one, two, three, four, five. And we could go over one, two, three, four. So for our slope, we have a negative five over four. We could use our calculator to figure that out. And it should be somewhere around 1.25. So when we're making our equation, we have y equals negative 1.25 x plus 20.5. And again, it's not gonna be perfect because the line of fit that the computer picks and the line of fit that I pick and the line of fit that you pick could be all off a little bit. So you're looking for the equation that is the closest or makes the most sense considering what we've already done for the graph and the line of fit. And as always, remember that your quiz, the order might be different than my order. So just make sure you kind of look at it, double check it and make sure that it is the correct assignment. Alrighty, have a great day.